Avan Absir. We have seen that two things are required to study electric field. One is the field creating charge, which can be positive or negative charge, a single charge, a group of charges, etc. The other is trust charge, which is always a positive charge. Using this trust charge, you can find the direction and the intensity of the electric field at any point. The direction in which the trust charge moves or tends to move is the direction of the electric field at the particular point. And the force experienced per unit charge, when you place the trust charge at a particular point, is the intensity of the field at that point. Now, if the field creating charge is positive, potential nearer to the charge, field creating charge, is larger compared to points, remote points. And potential increases from maximum value close to the charge to zero at infinity. That means if A and B are two points in the vicinity of the positive field creating charge plus Q, definitely potential at A will be greater than potential at B because potential is increasing, decreasing to zero in this direction as we go to infinity. Let potential at V, at A, be VA. Potential at B, VB. VA equals 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q by R1. Potential at B is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q by R2. At another point, C, potential at C is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q by R1. Uh, suppose we place a test charge at A. This field of creating charge will push or repel this test charge to B in the direction A to B. So it will move to B, not to C. A and C are equipotential points. No free charge will move from A to C under the influence of the field of plus Q. It won't go from B to A by the action of the field because it is repelling the trust charge. What is the inference? A positive charge always, if it is free, always moves from high potential point to a low potential point. So if you place a negative charge, if you, if you have a free negative charge, and if it is placed at B, it will come towards A because of electrostatic attraction created by plus Q. So, a negative charge moves from low potential point to high potential point. Uh, if the field creating charge is minus Q, we have seen earlier that potential decreases from zero at infinity as we come closer to the charge and potential is said to be negative. A potential at A is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into minus Q by this distance R1. And potential at B is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into minus Q by this distance. Let it be R2. So an 
positive charge placed at base of B is the high potential point and A is the low potential point. A positive charge placed at B moves towards A, that means from high potential to low potential. On the other hand, a negative charge placed at A moves to B because of the repulsion from minus Q. So, a positive charge moves from high potential point to low potential point. The negative charge moves from low potential point to high potential point. In brief, a potential difference is required for the movement of free charge. This is a basic idea and very, very important. A movement of charge constitutes current. So for the establishment of current, a potential difference is a must. This potential difference in practical case we create by using electric cell or battery. We will see details in the next postings. Now we, let us pass to another point. How potential due to a point charge for field creating charge Q is given by V equals 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q by R. Let us differentiate this equation with respect to R. So we get dV by dR equals 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q. These are constants. So let us put, uh, take this outside the differential. So 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into Q into D by dR of 1 by R. 1 by R is R raised to minus 1. This is of the form x raised to n. So differential of x raised to n is n into x raised to n minus 1. Uh, uh, differential of r raised to minus 1 is minus 1 into r raised to minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1. Or it is minus r raised to minus 2 or minus 1 by r square. That is the differential of 1 by r. So Finally, we get dv by dr equals minus of 1 by epsilon 0 into q by r square. Now, this is the expression for electric intensity E. So, dv by dr equals minus E or electric intensity E equals minus dv by dr. This is a very important relation in electrostatics. V is a scalar quantity, but intensity is a vector quantity. dV by dr is the differential coefficient of V with respect to position R. Differential with respect to position is called gradient. So dV by dr is called potential gradient. We will see it gradient in detail in a separate posting. Now the final result we get is electric intensity is the negative of potential gradient. From this we can find this is a very important result. Next point is from this dv equals minus e into dr so that v equals integral of minus e dr so intensity is the differential of potential with a minus sign and a potential is the integral of intensity with a negative sign Thank you for your cooperation.